Welcome back to the grand final of the Mentimiente live stream game show called Ticket to Win. It's good to see everybody here uh, back for the final game uh, of this week. I see the chat is already uh, super stoked to be here. We're already getting some locations. Uh, Texas here, Tim Alm is back. Uh, Finland here. Uh, we're broadcasting live from the Mentimeter headquarters here in Stockholm, Sweden. Let us know in the chat where you guys are at. And also, it'd be really fun to know uh, if we have any veterans with us. I know that Tim Alm is here uh, yet again. Joseph Miller is back. Let me know how many times you've been playing this. Uh, the hearts are pouring in here. I think we almost have to take a look here at the hearts. Already, right off the bat, we have 137 hungry contestants. Uh, my name is Oscar Svernlov, and I am the host of the evening, as always. And uh, I think we kind of know what to do at this point. Uh, it is a time for you now to grab a phone and go to menti.com and use the code 748162 to join. Um, let's take a look here. Uh, Belgium, Sophie Romboot, uh, Andrew's back. Edward Vickers, welcome, his first game here. Uh, we're getting some love here from Emily Wall and Johannes Aristal. Right back at you guys. Uh, UK and uh, the letter A is the best guy is here for his fifth time. Folks, uh, come on and join us now, menti.com. Use the code 748162. We are about to begin our quiz, but before we do that, we are going to take a look at the uh, winners from last night's quiz. We actually, amazingly enough, had the winner, uh, what's called winner here, with uh, 14,433 points. Uh, right behind was Big Bad Dom, the Big Bad Bear, uh, uh, with 13,947, and The Hustler right behind with 13,790 points. This is uh, very exciting. Let's see if anybody can beat uh, the winner here from yesterday. Remember, folks, this is the third and final quiz night here, so this is kind of a grand finale. We're going all in here uh, and see who will take the winning, uh, not prize, but the winning place. Folks, it is time to go to our first segment of the evening. I think we all know this one. It's time to play Where To. pouring in here, uh, we are going to play where to, and while I explain the rules, I would like you guys now to register, uh, get your emoji going here, oh look at this, we have 200 people active here, uh, we're, we have a blowfish here, we have an umbrella, the crab, the bee, and a birthday cake. A birthday cake, that's a new one. Guys, please let me know in the chat which emoji you are. This is so much fun to see. I see we have the dragon back, the crocodile, as well as the hamburger. Um, this is uh, what we're gonna do now. We're gonna play where to? And we are heading towards a city, okay? Not a state, not a country, but a city. I'll be giving you clues along the way. 
Uh, and the clues will be quite tricky in the beginning, but they're going to get easier and easier. And as soon as you know which city we're heading towards, I want you to tap it in here on the Mentimeter app. Uh, once again, let's take a look at that code. 748162 is the code. 220 players ready to go. Uh, I see Carl here is a football. Uh, Simon Garrett, the alien. Uh, we have Rashi Kaur as the cat. And uh, Lynn Augerhem is the wedding ring. Beautiful. All right, folks, it is time for our first trip. Remember, answer fast to get more points. We're heading towards a city. I'm asking you, where to? All right, here is the first clue. We are traveling north in the southern hemisphere towards a city located in South Wales, but not in the United Kingdom. If you can guess who's coming to dinner, Dr. John Wade Prentice can be a clue to our destination, which shares its name with Jennifer Garner's character in Alias. That's right. Uh, first clue there. Remember to answer fast to get more points. Here's a second clue. Our destination is the largest city in the country where women glow and men plunder. Here you'll find world-class Danish architecture. Joan Utzon was actually the second architect ever to get a building declared a World Heritage Site during his lifetime. Here down under, you'll also find P. Sherman on 42 Wallaby Way. Second clue there. Are we getting help from the chat? Not today. Uh, we're on our own here in the grand final. Here is the third clue. Look at this scenery here. That's beautiful. On Bondi Beach, you can both surf and play beach volleyball. But other than that, cricket is one of the most popular sports in the country. Speaking of sports, uh, the city we're traveling towards hosted the Summer Olympics in the year 2000. Yeah, that's our third clue. Remember, we're heading towards the city. Here's the fourth and final clue for you. Emus, kangaroos, and Tasmanian devils all inhabit this country, which is its own continent. Put another shrimp on the bobby and make sure you don't miss the opera house. We'll soon be arriving at the largest city in Australia. Those are our clues here. Uh, seems as we have a little, a uh, bit of a help from uh, Joseph Miller here, or at least a clue. Not a whole couple of seconds left here, guys. Make sure to answer now. I want to see those answers. Type it in your Menti app. Time is almost up. Let's take a look here at the answer. Oh, it is... Sydney is the correct answer. Good job, let's take a look at the 139 of you got this right. Uh, I'm gonna let this one slip too. Sydney, 12 of you, Sydney as well, correct. We have uh, 40 people going from Melbourne, but that's not correct. Perth, no. Uh, Sydney with an I, I think that's a typo. I'm gonna give that a right answer. There's a great function here in the Metameter app. When I click here on Sydney, um, I'm giving that the right answer. I'm feeling generous tonight. Uh, Barry Island, LA, and a pass, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, good job. Let's see who got this the fastest. This is exciting. Camel Donut, Jez Gorpik. Ooh, they're head to head here. But the Camel Donut is the fastest and takes the lead with 957 points. Uh, I see we have Ward to World, Malta and Jez as well. Uh, Costa the Eight Ball joined uh, the leaderboard. And also Dr. Carter, Carter the Devil is with us as well. Folks, you know what's up. It is time to uh, get to some follow-up questions here on our destination city. Yes, that's right. We are now, um, we've arrived in Sydney, and I'll be asking some follow-up questions. Hearts are pouring in. Let me take a look at the chat. Um, Noleg wants me to say hello to his, the mom, Olive. Hello, mom, Olive. That's on the house, guys. Um, Andrew Gurudatta is in 14th place. Folks, uh, it is now time for the follow-up questions on our destination, Sydney. Remember here, I want quick answers. I'll be reading the question, but make sure to check your phone when the, uh, the answers pop up. Here is the first follow-up question. Sydney is the largest city in Australia, but which city is capital? Is it Canberra, Perth, Melbourne, or Brisbane? 
Which city is the capital here? Canberra, Perth, Melbourne, or Brisbane? Their answers are pouring in, absolutely pouring in here. Can we get to 200? Yes, we can. Um, almost typed in that last one. A couple of seconds uh, left. Let's see what we got. Time is up. And Canberra is indeed correct. Oh, here we go, folks. What a start. 175 uh, Aussies here in the chat. Uh, who knows that the capital is Canberra. 39 of you going from Melbourne. Uh, I know it could be a tricky one, but Canberra is correct. Folks, we're moving on to the uh, second follow-up question. Here we go. Remember to answer fast to get more points. On the flag of Australia, you'll find a constellation made up of five white stars. What is the name of the constellation? Is it the Lyre, the Southern Triangle, Perseus, or the Southern Cross? Five white stars on the Australian flag. What is the name? Lyre, Southern Triangle, Perseus. Uh, are we getting help from the chat? Uh, no, we're not. Not a whole couple of seconds left. Let me see those answers now, folks. Time is up. And, oh my God, look at this, guys. The final is really sh showing off here. 135 correct answers. The Southern Cross is indeed what we're looking for here. Good job, folks. This is uh, uh, going to be very interesting to see the leaderboard uh, shortly. But first, we have our third question on uh, the, the um, city of Sydney. Here we go. Australia is famous for its fauna, which includes many animals that don't exist anywhere else. Which of these animals are not endemic to Australia? Is it the koala, the bandicoot, dingo, or kiwi? So which of these animals are not found in the, in the nature in Australia? Here we go, guys. Um, is it the koala? Is it the bandicoot? Is it the dingo? Or the kiwi? What do we got? Not too many answers yet. 205. I guess that's good. Time is almost up. Let's take a look at the right answer here. What do we got? Oh, pretty good. It is the kiwi indeed, which is endemic to New Zealand. Uh, some of you are going for the bandicoot there, but kiwi is not found, uh, at least naturally, in Australia. Good job, everybody. Let's take a look at the leaderboard to see who's on top here. This is exciting. Will the camel donut stay on top? Uh, or the Jez the devil, maybe? No. Gorpik takes the lead with uh, 3,848 points. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, uh, Mole Claw is the fastest, the cat. Uh, Camel Donut, still in there, still hanging in. Not great, not terrible. The uh, Diamond Ring is on the leaderboard as well, folks. Uh, good job, what a start here in the uh, grand final of the Mentimeter quiz. Folks, we're moving on to the next segment, and we've actually brought back a uh, bit of a, a classic segment here from last week's show for you guys who watched this. It is time to play Who is Out? That's right, folks. Who is out is our uh, next segment here, and uh, it's quite simple. I will be showing you four pictures, uh, four things. Three of these uh, are uh, grouped into one. They, they're, they're kind of uh, grouped together in a theme, and one of them is the odd one out. And I want you to tell me in the uh, Mentimeter app which one is out. It's that simple. You'll have some time on this one to think. Uh, it could be a bit tricky, could be a bit of a trick question, but uh, I'll, I'm sure you guys will, will take it. Um, I will be starting it very shortly. Make sure to answer fast. Three of them are together. One is out, and I want you to tell me which one is out. Here are our pictures. We have a mathematical formula, a halibut, the Earth, according to some conspiracy theories, 
and this TV. Take a look at your phones here, guys. Which one is out? We have a mathematical formula. We have a halibut. Uh, Earth, according to certain conspiracy theorists, and this TV. Magnus um, Obrasse Lin is uh, saying here, yes, this is indeed heavily inspired by a classic Swedish game show. Let's see those answers, guys. Um, a mathematical formula, a halibut, Earth, according to some conspiracy theorists, and this TV. Not a whole lot of seconds left, guys. What do we got? I see 222 people have answered so far. We're still not quite there. Now time is about to run out. Let's see what we got. Time is up. And, ooh, a bit of a spread, but this mathematical formula is out. That's right, 133 uh, um, uh, mathematicians uh, got this one right. Guys, uh, I'm gonna explain why we had this one. Please let me know in the chat why, what you answered and why you answered that. This is our explanation. So, what we saw here was a mathematical formula uh, in order to calculate the volume of a sphere, all right? And the halibut is a flat fish. Earth, according to some conspiracy theorists, according to the flat earth theory, is flat. And also we saw flat screen TV. So all of them were flat, but the mathematical formula is for a sphere, folks. That's right. Uh, let me see. Um, not flat. Uh, the cheesy jacket. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Um, everything else is flat. Yeah, I, th I see a lot of you are in on that one as well. Um, if you have another theory on why the mathematical, math mathematical formula is correct uh, and you answer that, that's totally fine. You still got the right answer. Let's actually take a look here at uh, who got this right uh, after our follow-up questions. That's right, we have three who are uh, together. We have the Halibut, the uh, Conspiracy Theory, and the Flat Screen TV. And here are some follow-up questions on those, those three things. Um, Make sure to answer fast to get more points here, folks. The first one is a bit fishy. Which is the largest fish in the world? Is it the blue whale, the great white shark, basking shark, or the whale shark? Look at your phones, guys. Is the blue whale the largest fish, the great white shark, the basking shark, or the whale shark? Which one is uh, the biggest fish in the world? Time is almost up. Let me see those answers. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, we have a 50-50 split here, but it is the whale shark. 85 uh, fishers here managed to nail this one. Uh, the blue whale is, of course, huge, uh, but the blue whale is not a fish. It is actually a mammal. So that was a bit of a trick question there. The whale shark is the largest fish in the world. 85 of you knew that. And we're moving on to uh, some conspiracy theories here, folks. Remember to answer fast to get more points. Here it comes. According to a conspiracy theory, the footage of the moon landing was produced by a well-known movie director. Who? Was it Alfred Hitchcock, Stanley Kubrick, Steven Spielberg, or Mel Brooks? What do we got, folks? According to a conspiracy theory, a well-known movie director, the footage of the moon, not too many seconds left. Two, one, here we go, time is up, what do we got? Ooh, a bit of a split here, but Stanley Kubrick is behind this one. Um, he did pr produce a, quite a good uh, uh, sci-fi movie a couple of years earlier, um, but here he was also featured in the conspiracy theory. 102 of you knew this. Do we have 102 conspiracy theories in the chat? I'm not sure. Let's move on to the third and uh, final follow-up question on who is out. This time we're taking a look at flat screens. The question is, what does LED stand for? Electronic display, light, display or electric light or LED guys what does LED stand for 
Not a whole couple of seconds left. What do we got here? Time is up. Light emitting diode is correct. 138 of you uh, knew this one. Uh, a couple of them going for the liquid electronic display. Uh, we have three electronic light orchestra fans here in the chat. Um, but a light emitting diode is what LED stands for. Good job, everybody. Let's take a look at that leaderboard to see who's on top here. Uh, it looks like we have Costa on top. The eight ball, not only the fastest answer, but also takes the lead. Gorpik dropping down, um, only 50, sorry, 42 points behind. Moleclaw uh, also in there as well. Puffy, Henke, the rock star is there as well. Guys, this is a very exciting quiz here. We're really battling uh, to the top. That's it for who is out, folks. And I see the chat has been uh, bubbling here about uh, Mr. Sven. And it's actually time to head out on town yet again. Uh, yesterday, we were out and we uh, actually found a guy named uh, Sven Anderson, uh, fittingly. Let's actually take a look at that footage from, from yesterday here. What do we got? I got another bit uh, today. So, uh, so I'm very excited about that. I really wanted the cinema, uh, cinema bands uh, today. Beautiful. Uh, Mr. Sven uh, singing some Oasis for us there. I have my reporter out on town, live again. Let's see if we can get him on the link. Here we are. Uh, I'm not sure if we can find anybody. Oh. Oh, oh, guys, guys, look, look who it is. Sven, Sven, hi, hey, yes. Sven, how you do? How was your date yesterday, Sven? It was a catos, catos, Ouch. Cat, oh, I'm sorry about ball. that. She uh, didn't like the punch rules at all. So uh, I, I it's got to be uh, the fika. Yeah. And now I'm heading to a date, and uh, uh, and they didn't have cinema buns today either. And. But, we didn't have punch roll, and now I have nothing but Sven, uh, to fika. Yeah. Sven, do you know and, what? Uh, so I'm, I'm really nervous. Yes, Sven. But, um, but, uh, so I really need to try to find some fika. Yes, yes, Sven. Actually, we... Wait, 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 wait. Don't go. Sven, actually, we have a thing for you. Uh, the chat has donated a little, a little gift for you here. We actually brought some cinnamon buns for you here um, uh, from the chat no, you right to, to Sven. Be Yes, it's the Swedish cinema. It's a Swedish cinema. We are not only about oh one, my we have gosh. two for you here uh, to bring to your oh, date. It's two. Yes, oh, my it's date two. is going to be so happy. I really feel that this is going to be something. Great. Okay. Uh, what are you listening to today? Get ready now. Okay, guys. Mm. Uh, which artist is Sven listening to? Here? Which artist, guys? Thank you, Sven. Uh, that is it. Time is up. What do we got here? Uh, Justin Timberlake is the artist. And uh, we seem to have a lot of correct answers here. We have CW going for ABBA again. 54 of you got this right. Sven uh, singing some Justin Timberlake there. Uh, and uh, very happy for those cinnamon buns. Uh, Timberlake is correct. Can't Stop the Feeling was the song, but it is not uh, the correct artist. Here we have Justin Timberlake. I'm gonna give that the right answer as well. Uh, when I click here, I'm giving you the right answer. I want a baby from Sven. <laughs> Justin Timberlaker, that's a typo. Uh, Justin Timberlake, can't stop the feeling. I'm gonna give that a right answer as well. Justin Timerlake, timer. What does my studio crew say about this one? Yep, yep, they're they're giving me a thumbs up. Justrin, yeah, guys, I'm feeling generous. It's the final uh, quiz here. Pharrell Justin Timberlake, sure, why not? This is a typo. I know you guys are stressed here answering. 
good job, everybody. Nice. Uh, let's take a look at the chat is blowing up here for seeing Sven. Get this man a cinnamon bun. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I marked someone wrong here. No, I don't think I did. I, when I'm marking here, I'm giving you guys the right answer. Remember that, guys. Folks, let's take a look at that leaderboard. Who is on top? Oh, oh Puffy. The Puffing... Puffish, uh, what's, what's gonna happen? Oh my God, Dr. Carter steps up. 8,092 uh, points. Uh, Puffy right behind there. Costa dropping down to um, third points, uh, third place. Gorpik still hanging in there, but not really where uh, he wants to be. And we see PP, the football, uh, with the fastest answer here. Uh, very interesting, folks. All right, guys, uh, we're heading out on the road again. It is time to play another round of Where To. We're going to a new city here. Hearts are pouring in. Uh, I think we like this one. Uh, this is very, very exciting. We're heading towards a new city here, okay? Once again, a city, not a country. I don't know how many times I have to stress this. We're heading towards a city. And uh, once you know which city we're heading towards, write that straight in the app. Uh, you'll be getting clues along the way, as always. Uh, and remember, fast answers get you more points. I'm asking you, where to? Here we go. Here is the first clue. We are traveling towards a city that shares its name with a television series created by John Milius, William J. McDonald, and Bruno Heller. If you know what it's called when a phone outside its home network connects to an available cell network, you might be on one of the many roads leading to our destination. Hmm? That is clue number one, guys. Here's clue number two. The city probably wasn't built in 12 hours. However, it's been a major human settlement for over two millennia. According to the myth, the city was founded on seven hills and its founder was brought up on wolf's milk. It's also probably the only city in the world with a whole country inside of its city limits. Remember, we're heading towards a city, guys. Let me know which one. Here's the third clue. Some beautiful roads here. A bit of tunnels, maybe that's a clue as well. In this city, you'll find both Spanish stairs and a Swiss guard. The residents, however, are neither Spanish nor Swiss, even though the country shares its border with Switzerland. The city is divided by the Tiber, and it's given the name to a kingdom as well as a republic and an empire. Movies such as Gladiator and La Dolce Vita take place here in the capital of the world. That's clue number three, and here is the fourth and final clue. Julius Caesar, Spaghetti Carbonara, and Fontana di Trevi are just few of the many things that would make your mind roam to this city. Benvenuto to one of the most classical cities in the history of the world, the capital of the country that looks like a boot. What do we got, folks? 220 answers going strong here. We're heading towards the city, getting some help from the chat here by uh, the, maybe, is it Chris Lennon? No? Let's see if we have the answers here. Which city, guys? Only a couple seconds left. Uh, will we get this one? Final trip here of the evening. Which city? Which city? Time is up. And Rome is correct. Rome is correct. We have a lot of uh, good answers here. Rome, Rome is fine, that's Swedish. A lot of you going for Vatican City, but uh, that is not the city we're looking for here. Rooming, guys, what do we say about this one? No, no, they're not, yes, I'm being generous. I'm giving rooming the right answer. Rome, Chris told me. <laughs> yeah, that's the right one, getting half of the Romer, yeah, I think that's a typo. Remember, if I'm clicking here, I'm giving you the right answer. Rome with an H? Do we like that spelling? Studio crew, yes, they're, they're generous as well. Rome is correct. Uh, good job, everybody. 173 uh, Italians here. It is time for some uh, follow-up questions on the city of, sorry, of course, leaderboard first. Who was fastest here? What do we got? 
What do we got? Is Costa gonna take the lead? No, he's not. Dr. Carter stays on top. Uh, this is very exciting. Costa right behind. Mole Claw was the fastest. Gorpik hanging in there. Really, really hanging in there. Apparently, Henke was the fastest as well. Uh, maybe we had a tie there. First time in the uh, history of uh, Menti. Um, folks, we're moving on. Uh, we have arrived uh, in the city of Rome, and it is time for some follow-up questions on our destination. Remember here uh, to answer fast. Uh, here we go. Here's the first question on uh, the follow-up questions on Rome. Derby della Capitale is the prestigious football local derby between the two biggest clubs in Rome. AS Roma is one of them. Which is the other? Is it Juventus Internazionale, SS Lazio, or UC Sampdoria? I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. Sampdoria. Guys, uh, see if we have any Derby fans here. Derby della Capitale. 217 answers. Time is almost up. What do we got? Oh, we have a split here. But SS Lazio is correct. 91 soccer fans here uh, in the grand final. Good job, guys. Uh, AS Roma is one of them, and SS Lazio is the uh, other big club in Rome. Good job. We're moving on to the second follow up question on Rome. According to the myth, Romulus, the legendary first king of Rome, killed his twin brother and founded the city. What was the name of his brother? Was it Ramus, Remus, Romus, or Remus? Guys, what was the name of Romulus' brother uh, who was killed by Romulus? What is the name? I think we might know that, this one. I think we have uh, some help in the chat, do we? No, we don't. Yes, we do. Time is up. What do we have? 179 uh, Roman fans here. That's correct. Uh, Remus is uh, what we're looking for here. Good job, guys. I feel like this leaderboard is going to be very exciting to see uh, in a few seconds. We do have one more follow-up question on our destination. Uh, remember to answer fast to get more points. Italy is the promised land for pasta lovers all over the world. Which of these alternatives is not a variety of pasta. Is it Campagnoli, Strozza Preti, Stringose, or Mafaldine? I hope my pronunciation was uh, okay there. See if we have any Italians in the chat. Give me some feedback on that, on that uh, pronunciation. Which of these is not a pasta variety, guys? Where is a negative answer, not a pasta variety. Campagnoli, Strozza Preti, Stringozzi, or Mafaldine? What do we got here? Time is up. Ooh, a curveball here. It is Campagnoli. <laughs> Ouch. This was almost an X or Y. Um, actually here, <laughs> guys, I have uh, a picture of uh, the pastas here. We have uh, Strozza Preti up here. I hope you guys can see this. A uh, bit blurry. Uh, Strizza, uh, sorry, uh, Stringosi here. Uh, Mafaldine and uh, Bartolomeo Campal Campagnoli. Campagnoli is uh, cute. Uh, sorry, he's a violinist. Cute, but not pasta, is what I was going to say. This was a tricky one. Uh, never heard of any one of these, uh, says Monotone Laura. Um, uh, 37 of you knew that this wasn't a pasta variety. Guys, it's very exciting now. I'm really looking forward to this leaderboard. Uh, I hope you are too. Let's take a look here. Who is in the top here? This is exciting. Costa Dr. Carter. My God, look at Dr. Carter go. Dr. Carter's taking the lead and Hank climbs up to the second position. Uh, right before Costa there, only 300 points. Gore pick hanging in there, mole claw as well. Uh, Puffy, the uh, blowfish, is still with us. The Ulverston Loner Donut is here. Uh, but this is very exciting. Dr. Carter takes the lead. Henke and Costa right behind uh, Dr. Carter. 
Folks, uh, I think it is time for the last, the final, the grand final of the grand final. We are going to play X or Y. That's right, folks. Uh, I'm almost a bit sad here. The, the quiz is coming to an end, but first we have our fan favorite here, X or Y. The hearts are pouring in, 70 and going strong. Uh, yesterday we played Muppet or Jazz Musician. Uh, we also had Tolkien character or antidepressant. Last week we had Rapper or Racehorse, Cheese or Skis, but today we're playing Spell or spider. Now, here are the rules. It's very simple. I will be showing you a name, and I want you to tell me if this is a spell from the Harry Potter universe, or if it's the name of a spider. It's that simple. Hearts are pouring in. I know uh, there are a bunch of different spells here, but we're strictly working with the Harry Potter uh, universe as well. I see here, uh, when is the next one going? You should do one next week as well. Yes, folks, uh, there probably will be a bunch of more quizzes here. I'm going to let you know shortly uh, where you can find some more quizzes. But first, it's time for our final here. We're going to play X or Y. This name will be either a Harry Potter spell or the name of a spider. Remember to answer fast to get more points. Here we go, folks. The first name is... Anelosimus Eximus. Anelosimus Eximus. Is that the name of a Harry Potter spell or is it a spider? Harry Potter's. Oh my god, the answers are pouring in here. I think we're seeing a new record for fastest answers here. Guys, uh, let me know in the chat how fast you answered this one. That would be really fun to see. I feel like we've been answering super quickly here. 220 people answer this one. Here we go, time is up, and it is indeed a spider! Boom! Shoof! 145 of you know your spiders here. Analosimus Eximus is indeed a spider. Let's see some answer times here. Lean Augenham answering under the second. Uh, Amy Hull, 1.3. Joseph Miller's back, good to see you, Joseph. 1.059. Anki says, uh, "Below the second, yeah, I think we have an average of like a, 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 about above a second. This is very, very quick here, folks. We're moving on to the second Harry Potter spell or spider. Here it comes. Lacarnum inflammari. Lacarnum inflammari. I'm doing a bit of an Italian uh, vibe here. I think that I hope that's okay, guys." Uh, here we go. Lacarnum inflammati. Oh my god, we have a new, another record here. Let me know if you answered faster this time, guys. Mentimeter answered in 0.2 seconds. Let's see if anybody can beat that. Time is up. What do we got here? Is it a Harry Potter spell or is it a spider? Oh, here we go. 188 of you uh, are Harry Potter fans. It is indeed a Harry Potter spell. I think that has, this has to do with some type of fire, if I'm correct. If we have any Harry Potter fi uh, fans uh, in the chat, let me know what this spell does. That would be fun to see. Folks, it is time for the third and final X or Y. We're looking for either a spell or a spider. Here it comes. Neriene. Radiata. Neriene radiata. I'm not sure if this is correct. Going for some semi Italian here. Nerien radiata. What do we got? What do we got? Answers are pouring in here. See if anybody beat uh, Mentimeter's own answer. Oh, Joseph Miller, 0 0.04 seconds. Really? Darren Sire, 0 0.02. Jesus. Here we go, time is up. Is it a Harry Potter spell or a spider? <gasps> it's a spider, Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. 183 of you absolutely nailed this. Good job, everybody. Uh, that is it for tonight's quiz, folks. Uh, this has been the grand final for uh, the evening. Thank you so much for playing. The hearts are pouring in here, folks. Um, remember to subscribe to the Mentimeter YouTube channel right uh, here below, I think it should be, somewhere here. No, down here, folks. 
the Mentimeter YouTube channel to get updates. Uh, we also uh, will tell you to go into mentimeter.com, sign up for a free account, and you can make your own quizzes like this and play at home with friends and family. And uh, finally, if you do want to see more of these quizzes, go to the Facebook group Interactive Quiz uh, for weekly quizzes. I think uh, uh, we're going to get a link here in the chat by Mentimeter to that uh, uh, Facebook group. Folks, there is one final thing that we have to take a look at before I leave you. It is time to take a look at the winners of two, uh, of, um, two, is that, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, sorry guys, I, uh, I thought I heard something, never mind. Uh, it's time to take a look at, the, was that a knocking? Uh, guys, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Um, just hold on one second. I think there seems to be someone at the door here. Let me just see. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Sven. Uh, Guys, know. it's Sven Anderson. Oh, my God, Sven. Uh, come on. <laughs> this is amazing. Sven is here from his date. Sven, yes. take a seat. Oh, how, thank you very how much. How did the date go? Oh, it went excellent. Uh, it, it's got to be the, been the buns that the I got. The cinnamon buns, guys. Yes. Donated from the chat. Yeah, thank, uh, thank you. Was, was your date happy? What was the name of your, your date? Oh, it, it went very well. It went well, yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, Sven doesn't kiss and tell. He doesn't but kiss and no, tell. No, but we, but we kissed. Yes. <laughs> okay, he doesn't kiss it Hi, uh, Lily, if you watch this. Hi, Lily. Lily, uh, he's saying hi to his day here. I see that the hearts are pouring in here for Sven. Uh, Sven, actually, I was just about to present tonight's winners. Okay. Uh, I don't know, chat, do you think we should let Sven do it instead? Uh, I think uh, they want a Sven show here, yeah. Uh, okay. Sven, uh, do you want to do the honors? Uh, that that would be very much an honor. All right, Thank folks. Sven you. Anderson is here to present the winner of uh, tonight's show and also the grand final <laughs> here tonight. Sven, uh, take it away. Okay, and the winner is Sven. No. <laughs> no. We will see here how it will go. Okay, well, uh, it's... Dr. Carter. Dr. Carter Dr. Uh, takes it home with 13,781 points. Yes. Uh, Henke as well, uh, second place, and Gorpik, the crown on third place. Folks, that is it for the Mentimeter uh, live stream game show. My name is Oscar Svernlov. I have been your host, Sven Anderson here. Thank you for showing up. Oh, thanks. Uh, thank you, everybody who played, uh, and good night. It's so good to see you. I, oh, it's I'm glad very the good day to be here. went well. Too, it as well. went very well. It felt very good. Yes, very succeed, successful, success date. <laughs>